Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Corolla CE. Now the most notable features on the CE is its Bluetooth connectivity, its voice recognition, as well as its steering wheel audio controls. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2017 Corolla CE. Let's get started. To start, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of the exterior features that you will see on the CE model. One of them being is your daytime running lights. And if we just take a look on the front of the grille, you're going to see your block heater. And the thing is with the new 2017 Corolla is that it has now a newly redesigned front end. And if we take a look on the side here, you're going to see your 15 inch wheels. And if we take a look at your mirrors here, the nice thing with your mirrors is that they can fold inward. But they can also fold outward as well, so if you're in a tight parking lot and you're worried about your mirrors possibly being taken out, you can fold them in, or if you forget that you uh, need to fold them in, uh, they, if they do end up being uh, torn backwards, they're not going to rip right off. Now if we take a look on the inside of your mirror here, you're going to see your heated mirrors as well. You also have your vortex generators, and with your vortex generators, they actually assist with the aerodynamics of the vehicle. You can also find them on the tail lamps as well. And the color we're taking a look at today is slate metallic. Now, we're going to start by taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. And if we just take a look over on your left hand side, you're going to see your mirror controls. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your window locks, power locks, window controls for both your front and rear windows. A couple of the controls you're going to see on your steering wheel here are your volume control, scroll function, mode select. Then you have your Bluetooth with your voice recognition display and your lane departure alert with your cruise control. Now one of the things I like with the Corolla in general is that it has this uh, nice uh, multi-informational display that you can uh, take a look at just while you're driving. So if you wanted to uh, keep track of uh, your fuel consumption over 100 kilometers, you can do so. And then if we actually scroll through it, you have your cruising range as well as a couple of other additional settings through here and you can adjust them just uh, for your own personal use. And then if we just take a look on your bottom right hand corner you also have an exterior temperature gauge. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. And if you take a look at the very top you're going to see your digital clock and then if we actually head into your setup menu you have your general voice display as well as a couple of other additional features. And if you head into a uh, car, you can see your fuel consumption ratings as well. Well, actually your fuel consumption in general. And then you can also see a past record of it as well. Now, one of the things that was changed in 2017 is now they have this nice touch screen for the buttons as well. Before it was just the push buttons, but now all you have to do is just touch it lightly and it goes directly to the menu that you want. Now you have your temperature control settings located down below. Power, uh, sorry, power outlet. And then you have your USB and auxiliary located down below. Matted to a CVT transmission, you also have your traction control on and off. And then for those of you who are uh, driving on the highway quite a bit and the sun uh, becomes quite bright and you forgot your sunglasses, you do have these uh, shade extenders just on your visors, just so that it can block out a little bit more light for you. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area. So if we just actually pop open the trunk. I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo area just so that you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now for those of you who do need the additional cargo space, the nice thing with that second row is that it's a 60-40 split. So depending on what your needs are for, you can have both of them down or one of them down. So if you need the additional cargo space, you can fold down that second row. Now, in the event that you do need to access your spare tire, it's just located underneath here. You're going to find your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. So if you find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. Now, if uh, for whatever reason you need to open up the trunk from the inside, there is the release just located at the very top here. And the one thing I really like with the Corolla is that even though it's a compact sized car, you have um, a lot of room for cargo space just if you need to fold down that second row. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-306-1005 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. 
Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.